In this video, I will help you instantly improve your architecture diagrams. Stay until the end where I will unleash my secret weapon for insane diagrams that you've probably never heard of before. In the beginning of my time of studying architecture, I didn't quite see the value of diagrams until my semester was coming to an end and I was required to create a couple diagrams for my final presentation. I pushed off the diagrams because I needed to make sure that my architecture renders were on point. Obviously, I thought the renders were the only thing that mattered in the end. With my presentation, there was a problem. I was halfway through my presentation and I could see the confused look in my reviewer's face. It was clear they obviously had no clue what my project was and did not understand it at all. They said we had little idea of what your project or building actually looked like up until the final moments. What they were really trying to say is that your diagram sucked and they did not tell the story of your project in a convincing manner. What I'm trying to say with this story is that architecture diagrams are a simple form of representation that can have a huge impact on the interpretation of your project. Looking back, I should have put more time and consideration into the diagrams. Good architecture diagrams aren't good just because they look pretty. Most of the time, it's actually because the information is easy to digest and conveys the main ideas. That is why you need to keep it simple. As you can see, I instantly upgraded this diagram by keeping it clear and concise and making it easy to understand. Including too many variables in your diagram will make it hard to follow. Diagrams are not meant to be complex in layers and are meant to be understood in quick glances. The goal is to inform the main idea of your project in short snippets of details. You should start with a goal in mind and keep the main thing front and center of the page. From there, you should be able to add more graphically pleasing information. How to spice up your basic architecture diagrams. Like most things, adding color will make your diagrams pop. Generally, you should use a color palette, which provides colors that go well together. Create subtle coloration by turning down the opacity and using primary colors to boost the strength of coloration. A great diagram doesn't always need color though. Here are some examples of diagrams that benefit from a grayscale color palette. But if you do go the route for black and white, it is essential that you have an advanced understanding of line weighting. This means creating a hierarchy of line weights. This list is a good rule of thumb to keep in mind. When you're working with a diagram, it is important to have the proper line weighting. This is the original image in the diagram, but I'm going to show you how you can turn that into a lot more impactful diagram. When you first start off, it is important to make everything the lowest line weight, and from there you start adding thicker and thicker lines. So something like this. So we're going to start with the heavy line weight. This is typically used for the outside perimeter of whatever drawing you do. It gives prominence and also highlights the most important parts of the image. In this instance, using Adobe Illustrator, the line stroke is roughly three pixels. From there, you use a less thick line. In this case, it will be 1.5. As you can see, I used this line weight for the edges that are hidden, so you can't see anything beyond them. And you can see the effect that it gives. And then you move down another step to the medium line weight, which adds another depth of effect. All these line weights have provided a hierarchy and also included more depth to the image. But after adding four different types of line weight, you can tell a huge difference between both. So this is after, and this is before, and then after. The final way to spice up your diagrams is to utilize textures. Generally, these textures will be very light, but they help add depth and scale of the drawing. Textures can also be an alternative option to using color, as they provide a solution to break up the generic white boxes. You can also pair this with shadows. Shadows always make everything look better and more realistic, as long as you do it properly. Use colors, textures, and line weights to create a visual hierarchy within the drawing. Highlight the most important aspects and fade out the context details that are less relevant. When applied right, these will drastically improve the visual appeal and readability of your diagrams. If you have found value in this content so far in the video, it would greatly help if you subscribe to this channel. This will let me know that the content I'm putting out is beneficial to you. And comment below what you are struggling the most at in architecture. Yes, your diagram looks great now, but you're missing this step. Currently, there is no way to understand the scale of your diagram. This step is more important than the graphical representation of your diagram. Without it, you will have left the audience wondering 
Is this a house for giants or is this a small complex for ants? That is why you must add scale figures and trees if it's necessary in your project. This is a very overlooked step, but someone who doesn't know your project very well might not understand the scale of your building. You can find simple cutouts for scale figures and objects below in the description. Your diagram may be done, but we are not quite finished yet. You must finally add text, graphics, and keys. These help bring together the information in a way that is easy to understand. These add prominence and highlight the most important things that you want people to take away from your diagrams. As promised, here is the secret weapon that creates the absolute best architecture diagrams. It is to animate your diagrams. This can be as simple as creating a GIF, or you can get more complex and start using Adobe After Effects. Either option is an effective way to add interest to your diagrams. It will grab the attention of your audience and become an intuitive way to show movement of people, graphics, and objects in your diagrams. If you're creating diagrams for your architecture projects, you probably want a way to showcase your talents and skills. So watch this video here on how to create an architecture portfolio website that will make you stand out from the rest of the competition. Thank you for watching and welcome to the grind.